All right, welcome to the daily vlog, October 24th, 2018. Going solo again today, but don't worry. Me and Josh, we got the technology figured out. We just got it figured out a little too late, so we're not doing it together today. So I'm gonna do another awkward solo video. All right, so first on the list, Giants. I gotta stop putting my hand in the video. It's not good, it's unprofessional. Unprofessional. All right, so big news today, Giants. Uh, trade trade Damon Harrison to the Lions for a fifth round pick. So this is an all out fire sale. It's what we thought it was after we traded Eli Apple yesterday. So in two days we have traded Damon Harrison, a big contract, Eli Apple, a uh, former first round pick, or maybe once a first round pick, always first round pick, for a combined fourth, fifth, and seventh. I don't think they're necessarily going to be like okay now we have a fourth pick and a fifth pick. I think they're going to be maybe used as trade bait the draft up. Or, or I'll maybe trade down their first round pick and then trade back up. I mean, there's a whole bunch of opportunities. That being said, I see them uh, getting rid of a lot more guys. I th I think Janoris Jenkins has to be gone, and with, with what they've got from Damon Harrison, a fifth round pick, which I didn't I didn't like that at all. I like the trade, but I don't like the what we got back. A guy who plugs with the middle has another two and a half years locked up with, with Detroit, and we only get a fifth out of him. I think he can at least get a third. I mean, if I, it just seems like Dave Gettleman is just get, trying to get rid of people and get rid of them quick. So I'm not in love with that deal. But getting back to the point, Janoris Jenkins, he's got to be out of here. He, I see him uh, us maybe getting like a sixth or a seventh. But that's a good contract to get off. The guy's getting a little older. He hasn't played well at all this year. Olivier Vernon, that's one that I would hold out as tight as I can. Uh, see what I could, I, you know, try and get the best possible deal. Wait until the deadline. And if... You don't get anything, maybe like anything better than a third or anything better than a fourth. I I'd hold on to him because I, I just think uh, Ver pass rushers are way too valuable to just be giving them away for like sixth round picks, fifth round picks, like Damon Harrison. So I know he has injury problems, but Vernon, you have to hold on to him. You have to get at least a third round pick. And then the surprise one, which I doubt is going to happen, would be Landon Collins. They would have to get a first round pick for him. I don't think he's leaving, but you never know what could happen. Uh, Landon has he played all right, but he hasn't played like he did in that playoff season where he's contending for defensive player of the year. And some of his off-putting comments about how uh, we wouldn't want Bill Belichick, we don't want to, uh, uh, we want to relax. I, I I'm misquoting him. But anyway, so Damon Harrison's gone. Thank you for your service, Damon Harrison. We're part of a good playoff run and part of probably the worst couple of years in Giants history. We're one and six. And so, World Series game two tonight, last night, game one, Sale versus Kershaw. Kershaw pooped. He did a little poopy in the bed, as he seems to do in the playoffs. He didn't play horrible, but he didn't play great. Uh, I'm not responding to troll comments, Charles Orem. And, yeah, so he just didn't play great. Red Sox had that pinch hit, three run home run, put the game, put the game away. Tonight, you got Price versus, I can't remember the guy's name because he's Chinese. It's like Hen, Hen Ren Yu. Hen Ren Yu. Uh, that being said, Price has had two good starts in the playoffs. So he's due for a bad one. So I'm saying Dodgers in five still. The Red Sox are scumbags. We, won't eat, we don't eat a scumbag market. So that's it. Dodgers in five. All right. Last on the bill. Charlie, you're going to like this one. Uh, Chad Kelly was arrested because he drunkenly entered a home that was not his home and was beat up with uh, a s aluminum vacuum cleaner. Henrin Sue. All right. It was beat up with a aluminum vacuum cleaner. And a lot, he got cut by the Broncos. A lot of people are trashing him. But I'm here to say sometimes stuff like that happens to the best of people, to people that you admire people that you're looking at on the screen right now and in fact I'm having a special little story on the midweek show tonight we're going to talk about Chad Kelly and I'm going to save that for then but it's fun uh like I said that kind of stuff happens to the best of people 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 like me all right so midweek show is going to be out about the end of the night tonight this will be the last solo uh vlog Tomorrow we'll have an, another one out, and we'll have other people, so it won't be an awkward solo video, which is something that I hate and dread doing. Simple Man Radio, out.